Welcome back guys. So I promised you that I would do a poll on my Instagram today and then share all of the questions I got. And when I say all, I mean literally all of them. So I have formulated all of your questions in today. We're gonna answer it and uh, let's see what my life is all about. Oh, I'm in a hook, Kane. Woo! All right, so you guys all have some really good ones. The most commonly asked question was all about what I do for a living, OF content, and a sort of accumulation of all that. So here we go, we're gonna go in strong. I got asked, what do you do for a living and what makes you all this money? And basically, I own Lifted Rippers. I also have social media, this YouTube here, TikTok, and an OF. Can I say OF? Can I say OF? People are gonna know what that is. People are gonna know. Okay. Basically, I started Lifted Rippers if you haven't been following along long enough, but I started it a couple years ago because I wanted to combine fishing and truck stuff, and so here we are. We're actually sitting in the Lifted Ripper shop. It's super hot in here, and it's getting sweaty, and there's flies flying around. The boat's currently behind me, and it is the next build that we're doing, so disregard the mess. But I got asked what makes you more money, the truck shop or OF, and I gotta be honest with you, Social media still makes a lot more money, but then again, all the money that I do make for the shop goes right back into the shop because now I've got big girl problems like employees, overhead, shop expenses, so the bills do add up. I did get asked what inspired you to start a shop and it is combining the love of trucks and fishing and that's where you get the name Lifted Rippers. So what is the most challenging part of running a truck shop? And I gotta say, it's worrying about having employees that also have to put food on their table. You're having to support them keeping a shop running, there's always competition out there, there's always other shops, there's always negativity, there's always the goods and bads of owning things, but the best part for me is being able to give back to everyone else, lowest prices, helping everyone else out. That would be the best part, even though it's still challenging. I did get asked, what is your favorite truck modification? I don't really know what that question was entirely, <laughs> but as of my 250, my favorite modification is probably the big ass wheels and tires. Not sure. What is my favorite modification on the Jeep? <laughs> my favorite modification on the Jeep is my Bluetooth drive shaft. Neither one of them really work half the time. <laughs> All right, here's a good one. How do you balance running a business and creating only fans content? And that is a good one. Uh, I like to do a lot of question and answers behind the scenes on my OF. It's not just strictly sexual content like everybody thinks it is. I do a lot of fish tying, not tying. <laughs> fish line tying, fishing ideas over on my other spicy page. So I do a little bit of both. The content is fun. I have to hire help. Obviously you got Ian helps me out a lot. We got Adam, myself. I do everything on self timer. It's a lot of work. I'm running from fishing to the shop, back to creating other content. You guys keep me busy. <laughs> There's a lot of OnlyFans questions on here. I got asked, what's, what made you start or create an OF? And I started in 2019 before the big hype of it all everybody gave it a lot of bad names, but I just created it as a businesswoman. My mindset was people reach out all the time, they're wanting extra content. Sometimes it was appropriate content, sometimes it was like really wild other content, but ultimately I saw it as a business endeavor and I was like, I should be making money instead of not, so here we are. I just have the best of both worlds right now because of you guys. How do your fans react to your dual career? I love that you guys call it a dual career, by the way, but it's hard, I think that the hardest Thing I have right now is the algorithm between Instagram and TikTok. They don't really know what I do because I feel like it gets to know your little niche and right now that's all over the place between outdoors, truck stuff, and then my behind the scenes with bikini stuff. It gets wild. So I feel like my fans are loving it. It definitely keeps y'all on your toes as well as me and I am constantly busy. What's the craziest customer request you receive for a truck? I don't know. Like a lot of our older trucks, we get a lot of calls like, hey, I wanna put a 30 inch lift on a truck and we are here to help you <laughs> try and figure out how we can make that work. That's probably the craziest customer request for a truck so far. Oh wait, I did have that one where the kid wanted to put the 30 by 16s, 42s on a Mustang. That was pretty wild. You guys should go check that out. I think you've probably seen it on TikTok. We kind of helped a little bit on that. Do I have a favorite truck model to work on? Yes, absolutely, we all do. And it's gonna be Ford because Ford is just genuinely all the way around the easiest to lift. You can put the largest tires under the smallest lift. People typically seem to be the happiest with Fords. All the other trucks are amazing, love them. They do just require a lot more work and you have to go a lot bigger to make things fit. Another negative comment so, or question is, how do you handle the negative comments about your work and your truck stuff and your shop? And that is, I just deal with it. If you start doing well in social media, you're gonna get negativity or get positivity. So I like to just stick with the positive outlook and less negative. And as soon as you start to get the negative, you know you've done something right.
What's your favorite part of creating content for OnlyFans? I don't know. I feel like it's the one-on-one -on -one cool, get to know people. We talk a lot about trucks, fishing, and boating on there, so I get to see a lot of cool catches. It's not always what you think it is. It's not always spicy, but, you know, I do have a lot of fun on there interacting with everybody, and I get to know everybody on, like, a more personal in-depth level. A lot of people come out and talk about their feelings and their life, and it's really cool to be able to interact and see people on a different scale than just, like, what we perceive ourselves on social media. Do I work on my own truck? Well, if you recently saw on my social media, I do actually change my own oil. I am not the greatest. Josh is still trying behind the scenes to help me, but um, I'm just a frustrating job for him. I came with a surgical background, a whole career in medical, and so now we are here. It's taken a lot, but I am getting better. And I'm mounting my own wheels and tires. I can change my own oil. I can run circles with car parts and truck parts. So I feel like I'm getting there. What's the common misconception of having a lifted truck and that's did your daddy buy it? <laughs> or is it daddy's money? or little wee wee syndrome. I don't know why everybody always goes for those, but they do and I think it's funny. I think a common misconception is we just put all of our money into trucks instead of drugs. So I feel like we're doing a due diligence to America, honestly. What's the most rewarding part of this job in this shop? It's to be able to build these cool things for people. We get to save a lot of people money and so they get to actually have a truck build of their own and honestly I love it it's the, the smile on everybody's faces when they leave the shop and they've got this big lifted truck or they've got a running truck that hasn't been running in years that makes my heart happy is that like a millennial thing are they are we supposed to do like this now I don't know y'all y'all trust me out all right I got asked <laughs> what are my future plans for the shop and that is crazy obviously we're continuing to grow continuing to go upwards we are running out of space we're currently under a shop build right now that hopefully should be done in the next year got to go bigger uh, future will always be we're gonna try to bring a truck or a boat to SEMA every year of our own personal builds of, as well as customers so we obviously have lots of big plans coming for me I also got are you ever gonna get rid of OnlyFans now you guys ask a lot of OF questions I'm not sure why I think that there's a lot of genuine curiosity about OF creators and like what we all do but no I don't I don't know why I would get rid of it as a business woman I feel like why would you get rid of money coming in and I love talking to you guys it's super fun to do and you guys get to learn about me and I get to learn about you so it's, it's a great win-win I did get what is your next build that you are taking to SEMA and you're standing on it currently and it's currently getting a lot of work done this is all gonna be completely different by the time we're done with it new speakers new color powder coat everything's gonna be changed so it's gonna be loud where do you post your behind the scenes and I post most of it <laughs> everywhere actually I post a lot of stuff on my snapchat which is here I post a lot of it on my OF I post a lot of it on Instagram so you guys just got to keep track of all of them I know it's a lot but I'm here to hang out with you guys and I don't want to overwhelm one social media platform so I kind of spread it out I did get a weird one this is a weird question how how deep is your belly button what kind of question is that it's like, all right, all right. Some of these questions were wild. We're almost done. Let's see here. I only have a couple left. Will you take me fishing? And the answer is absolutely. I do lots of fishing charters all over the state of Florida. You can also book any fishing charter that you want of your choice. And all you have to do is DM me, tell me the dates, let the captain know, and I will come join you for a fishing day. But if you do want to fish with me, all you gotta do is email me right here. And I will give you the prices. I fish out of Dunedin, Clearwater, and out of Boynton Beach. Both are on the east and the other one's on the west. Great fishing. We got mahi, sailfish, tuna on one side. We've got grouper, hogfish, red snapper, all sorts of other stuff on the west coast. So the possibilities are endless and they are different prices. So definitely email me if you're really interested in going fishing. And last but not least, what is the last question I got? Where do you live and how old are you? I'm 30 and I live in Florida. Obviously, I'm all over the state of Florida. My shop is located in Plant City. Sometimes I'm here, sometimes I'm not. So you're gonna have to come by sometime. Give us a call. We do wheels, lift kits, tires, diesel work, boat stuff, audio. Seriously, come say hi. If not, give us a call or text. We'll hook you up with some good stuff. And until then, you guys are awesome. A lot of great questions. A lot of them were really repetitive. A lot of stuff about OF. And again, if you're a woman watching this and you hate on other women with OF, I get a life because we're not just out here trying to all live in a society that's crazy. And I'm just glad to be here to be able to talk to you guys and get to know everybody. So when you see me again, this boat is gonna to look totally different. As you can tell, it's crazy in the shop, it's busy and I am sweating, it's so hot. So I'm gonna go.
I will have the next video I post. It's going to be fishing. So you guys got to stay tuned for that. And until then, thank you guys for watching. And thank you so much for the support of me trying to combine fishing and truck stuff. It has not been easy. And the algorithm really doesn't love it. But I appreciate everybody. And until then, if you guys want to order anything from Lifted Rippers, I got hats, shirts, apparel, socks, liftedrippers.com. And much love, y'all.